the back, human development of understanding the back muscles. This is a very dynamic group of muscles and we're going to cover a lot over time, but we're gonna start with some of the basic understandings of the biggest muscles of the back. Our back helps to support our spine and it is the strength and the foundation of our movement for human development. The body is so dynamic and the back has layers and layers of muscles that all contribute to the form and function. As we get deeper into the tissues, it's all going to be about how the shoulder blades move, but understanding that the whole back line of the body operates as a team to support the whole development. The latissimus dorsi, followed with the traps that are the most superficial or top layer. Within these tissues, it is all about how the shoulder moves and how it responds. So as we get deeper into the depths of the tissue, underneath the traps are the rhomboids, and we've got the serratus muscles, and then we've got the deep muscles of the erector, which are directly correlated with the back muscles. Then we've got smaller, tiny groups that operate the shoulders and connect into the head, attaching to the spine, the upper rhomboids, and then we've got our middle rhomboid. So all of these tissues operate together within the shoulder here where you're seeing the rear deltoid. All operate within the movement of how the spine functions safely. So underneath the traps, all these muscles are attached in and around the shoulder blades into the spine. The shoulder blades actually float and have only one connection to the structural tissue of the bone. Our body operates as one moving functioning unit and understanding how these tissues work together is going to help us develop it in all of its totality. It is a webbing of systems that works as a team for our development and health over time so that our body can operate in the most efficient ways.